So this is the second time I've recorded vlog number 19. I'm actually at my dad's house today. I just wanted to give a recap on my fast. I am finished. 10 days done. And that's awesome for me. <laughs> um, feel real good about it. It was pretty tough. It was really hard to explain to people what it was about and why I did it. I would just like to reflect a little bit on, on the fast itself and why I, why I did it and how I feel about it moving forward and how I think it helped me. And yeah, and then I'll kind of be done with the fast thing for a while. Get back to a more of a format where, I don't know, I do more of a normal vlog instead of concentrating on one thing for at this point, 11 days now. <laughs> but, yeah, so it was really hard, one, not to cheat. But it would have been even harder if I did cheat. So if I would have cheated, like, there were so many times when I was just like, oh, man, I could just eat a carrot and no one would ever know. Or I could just eat that meatball and no one would ever know. But, you know, I really was doing it. For myself not for anyone else so I would have known I would have cheated last night I had my first meal and it was oh my goodness it was delicious I worked from home and I started at 1:30. Um, I could eat at 5 30 but I started making the meal at 1.30 just because I was so excited and I couldn't taste it as I was eating it so I made like this I just took like all the vegetables I could find in the refrigerator and threw them into a pot with like a big hunk of bacon and uh, I didn't exactly know like how my seasoning was or anything because I wasn't I didn't want to taste it and for my kids you know like they don't like stuff too spicy so I was just kind of hoping by the seat of my pants it was good and it just smelled oh. when you haven't eaten for 10 days and you're a few hours away from eating that smell is just unreal <laughs> but I held off I didn't even eat a carrot didn't even taste it the very first bite I had was a bite of these pork chops that I made I mean I went all the way I brined them I grilled them I watched a couple of videos on like the best way to do it and they just turned out like melt in your mouth like butter just so like I almost cried <laughs> I almost cried when I took my first bite it was oh, it was like an explosion in my mouth it was pretty unreal uh, was it worth it for that one bite I don't know it w that wasn't why I did it but that one bite was pretty amazing I'm it was good. It was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was... It was awesome. I'll just leave it at that. I think... I definitely, like... Oh, so I went to Quick Trip this morning, which is this kind of gas station thing. And they have semi-fresh food, I would say. Like, they have, you know, fresh donuts, of course. And they have, like somewhat fresh sandwiches like they probably took them out of the freezer and microwaved them or something like that they make them somewhere nearby and then ship them to all the stores I did have a breakfast sandwich which I normally wouldn't have I was kind of treating myself um, but I <clears throat> didn't have a donut or anything but the main thing is like there are all these things I can eat now but I know my body is just starved for nutrients and starved for vitamins. So I probably just shouldn't eat a bunch of crap just because I can. I should probably actually put good things back into it <laughs> before I start filling it with junk again. So no donuts quite yet. But I'm, I'm really not even craving a donut. Like I saw the donuts and they just didn't even look appetizing to me. Not that donuts are bad, like, you know, if you like donuts, I'm not saying you shouldn't eat donuts. I'm saying, like, I don't think I should put donuts in my body right now. My wife bought bugles yesterday, and she had, like, this bag of bugles. And I had a few of them, and they were, like, so good. 
so good. But I only like I only ate like a handful of them because I knew that after all these days, my body's been telling me it needs food, needs food, needs food. Probably shouldn't give it these bugles. That's probably not what I should fill it with. <laughs> they were delicious nonetheless. Very flavorful. So, I guess reflecting on it and reflecting on the fast, it really feels good to know that I have the control over myself that I do. And saying that even, like, it sounds a little weird, like, of course I should have control over myself. But the thing is, we make choices every single day. And we have to live with those choices. And I made the choice to not eat for 10 days, and I stuck to that decision, and every single time I was confronted with a temptation, I said, no, I've made this choice right now, and this is what I'm doing moving forward. And I feel that that accomplishment has given me a strength, like... I am in control of my choices. Next time I have a craving for food, I know that, you know what? I don't need to exactly eat right now. I don't need to give in to that temptation. I don't need to give in to that extra temptation for the extra cup of coffee, you know? Maybe it's not a bad thing. Maybe coffee, I don't know. <laughs> but y you know what I'm getting at. Like, I don't need to give in to those temptations. Whatever it may be. And I think, too, I mean... I just have a better grasp on those choices that we make and the day-to-day -day choices every day. And I feel that I have a just a little more sense of control over that. So I explained it to a friend of mine last weekend and he just doesn't get it at all. And he's in the military. It's actually my, my neighbor that I go cutting wood with. We were going fishing last Sunday and I was trying to explain it to him, and I was, like, I was like this. Okay, you're in the military. They give you discipline. I personally don't have that. I need to create my own. In my life, I have a lot going on. I have a lot to do every single day. I have several jobs, and I need to keep track of everything, and I need to know that I can keep track of everything and juggle all those balls. And for that, I need discipline. And to see my way forward, I need discipline. I'm a writer. I want to make writing my full-time occupation. And that's a hard journey. That's a long journey, and I have a long ways to go before I can actually do it full-time and make a living from it. And I need to know that I have the self-control. So I need to know that I have the self-control and the confidence to do what I need to do and make it happen moving forward. I know that I have a lot of obstacles ahead of me. I know that in life, I'm going to be throwing things that are a lot harder than this. And I know that if I can do this, you know what? The other things aren't that bad either. I can do them too. And it's given me that strength, like that feeling of accomplishment, that now that I have this, I will always have this, and I have this personal strength that I know is within me, and that feels good. You know, all the hunger pains, all the other stuff, they're all gone. But the fact that I was able to stick to it and stick through it, even though it was just something that I wanted to do for me, you know what, like, oh, you can starve yourself for 10 days, whatever, good for you. For me, it was setting a goal and accomplishing it. And small or large as it is, that's a win. And it's good to have wins. So, you know, set, set yourself up for some wins. Set yourself up for some hard things that you know that are going to be hard, but you want to accomplish them. And just do it. Like, find it within yourself to say, yes, I can do this, and you can do this, so you can do that, whatever that is. 
I'm just glad to be here. I'm so glad to be alive. I'm so glad to be on this journey. I'm glad to be sharing this, you know, to me, to the wind going on outside my van right now. <laughs> to whoever, if anybody else is watching this, I love you. It's a beautiful day. I just want to leave with one more quote, and I feel, at this point, maybe, <laughs> I definitely feel, okay, I'm going to give you a quote of my own, and I think I've deserved this if you're watching this, and if you watch this entire thing so far, I'm going to give you a quote of my own, and this is a quote that, honest to God, I got up and I said this to myself on all those mornings when I first started writing, when I, when I was like, oh man, I should just hit the snooze button. Or I should just shut my alarm clock and go back to bed and wake up with everybody else in an hour and a half. I said this to myself. I said, if you don't have the strength to do what's hard, you won't have the strength to do what's right. And I 100% believe that. Alright. Love you. Bye.